What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bedivere and welcome to another episode of Zero to Hero. In today's episode, we're going to be diving back into our factorial playthrough. As always, if you enjoy the content, be sure to smash that like button, click the subscribe button as well if you haven't already. And that little notification down there at the bottom keeps you up to date with all new content that I provide on the channel. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, tips, tricks, or you just want to roast me, go ahead and do so in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to comment right back to you. I sure do appreciate it. Let me know how you feel about the series. I stream every Thursday and Sunday afternoon over at twitch.tv slash All the links to all my socials, including Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram in the description down below. Be sure to follow me over there. We're building a great community, and I'd love to have you join. All right, let's go back to our playthrough here in the last episode. We built, oh, excuse that autosave. We built this baby right here. And I've been going around um, and starting to clear some biters. Uh, we cleared over this patch. We cleared over this way. I'm going to I'm gonna block off over here. Um, I brought the, our highway up here. And I'm going to merge the two over here and kind of continue straight up. But, and, and I also... Um, started clearing some biters over here we're gonna have this highway kind of go in between all these resource patches but in the middle of you know clearing these biters it's always good to continue your mega base and continue your outposting something that we are going to need we're gonna need a lot of trains and we're gonna we're, and we're gonna need a lot of them that's that's really it but since we do have vast distances to travel they're gonna need to be going fast um, and to, to constantly having to refill with coal is going to be inefficient. We want to use that coal for plastic. So what I've decided to do is fuel our trains with nuclear fuel. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So, and if we go down here to where we're doing all of our nuclear processing, we're going to be adding that nuclear fuel, uh, in the same general location. The only thing that we need to add is another train here that'll take in oil. So the thing with nuclear fuel, if we go to the recipe right here, is it requires the uranium-235 as well as rocket fuel. Now rocket fuel requires solid fuel and light oil. Now those are two ingredients that are brought forth by oil and oil processing. So we already have the uranium-235 over here. Now the last thing that we need is uranium-235, which this produces. Um, but we're also going to need, let's see here, got nuclear power here being consumed. So this is consuming all of these fuel rods that we're using. So we're gonna, we're gonna finish all of this nuclear production out. I'm gonna module everything here and then, and then we'll get to, to, to nuclear processing. All right, and we'll, I'll show you how, how I like to do it. But first things first, um, I replaced these uh, before I was making the production modules. I replaced it with another batch of um, speed modules. We're going to need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of speed modules. Um, and we're going to need them more so than the production modules in the beginning. Um, I'm going to want to get rid of this copper ore patch because, I mean, there's a huge building space here. That is just the core patch is just right in the middle of it. So I'm going to try to deplete this core, this ore patch. And it's it's 10 mil, 10 million. If we put a bunch of speed modules on it, um, that should go a lot faster. Uh, and but that'll go that'll go faster once we once we do our mega base copper smelting. But first things first, we're going to need a bunch of these centrifuges. We have 50 made. That's going to be a decent start. Uh, let's see here. Can I make any more of here? Let's go ahead and just put a bunch in here. There we go. Even more centrifuges. Awesome. And then I'm going to take... Let's see. Uh, let me update my logistics requirements. I don't want any more of those. I'm going to need a, a lot of the speed modules. Let's actually wait till the 500th gets made. We'll wait till the 500th get, gets made and then we'll head over here. I'm also going to probably want to upgrade our power. Now that we're going to be going to a mega base, it might be good to upgrade the power. Um, right now we're on idle. 
so all of our lasers we're not really using that much of it but all of the mega base smelting is going to be used using electric furnaces that's going to be taking a lot of power and now we're going to be using the mark three assemblers as well so that's going to be using a lot of power so we should probably upgrade the power um as well and that'll that'll help uh deplete uh the nuclear fuel cells that we're using all right all right so we got we got our 500 let me put the the one back in there just uh, a nice a nice round 500 number let's pick up any remaining centrifuges that we have we're gonna need we got the stack filter inserters we got the regular stack inserters um we're gonna need some belts what are the belts that are already there are they all blue no they're red hmm. let's increase this to 600 decrease decrease our walls we don't need any walls right now we also don't need any um turrets so let's decrease that get rid of this junk and then so what we got 600 red belts let's go up to 900 and then let's also add some blue belts Cause I don't know yet if I want to do blue belts or, or red belts. I might actually just want to do the blue belts and just upgrade everything. So let's do that. Keep 200 blue belts. We'll keep, we'll move this to 2000. There. Hopefully, hopefully that's enough. It should be. All right. Let's take our Spidertron and head over here now i did say that i wanted to upgrade this where right now we're only going off of six lanes of of these steam turbines we're going to need all seven and then i'll probably add an extra one to the other side as well but first things first oh whoops these things don't do well with routing behind lakes so we're just gonna go over here Okay, now I'm gonna grab my upgrade planner. I'm gonna upgrade all of this to blue belts. And I'm gonna be careful not to get the inserters because the inserters I have as part of the upgrade planner to go to blue, to go to blue inserters. So I, we don't really need that now. And I won't get the, uh, I won't, I won't get the the last the last belt there. All right, now let's release our bots, and then they should also add the speed modules in here. I'm also going to do an input priority to the left. I want this stuff to get uh, taken out first. priority to the right and then I'm also I'm gonna mirror what we have going on here now what's going on with the production modules go or not the production modules the speed modules i should say all right so now this stuff here let's see if i can't replicate this distance right here like so perfect now in order to do a true mirror this is going to have to be on this side
perfect with obviously belts on going either direction oops let me move my spidertron So that's filling up. Everything's filling up. Cool, cool, cool. So then I'm gonna have this inserter on this side here. And this is obviously, it's overkill. I'm purely, purely, purely just doing it for aesthetics. Uh, let me actually go into map real quick because it might be easier to do this in the map. Gonna go here with a light right in the middle. And then a power pole on this side. With the back of this side going like so. And then going forward. And then this going here. And then that should be, that should be everything. Let me just copy this without the light, right? Because this one doesn't have a light. And then let's just keep on copying that. And then how many more do we need? So then this last one has one. We'll delete this. This goes up and around. With two of the stack inserters. On either end, like so. Perfect. Now, we'll have the underground belts going, whoops, going underneath here. go with power connected whoa why is power still disconnected shouldn't be okay no it works now awesome it just had to ramp back up I'm, I'm pretty sure uh and then we need these two things and then we got red belts in the middle and then the yellow belts on the outside the yellow belts on the outside are going to be grabbing this and this will be grabbing from here so that half of these let's actually grab a couple like roughly half so roughly half of these are going to be going going here with let's just do this just to just to empty them oh great so those are just going to empty awesome it's yeah roughly half that's fine so then we got all of these guys going in perfect perfect being recycled awesome now let's grab more of these I'm not sure exactly how far we're going the last one with the light is right here roughly yeah that lines up then we're gonna use these things here. And then this is gonna go all the way down. Perfect. So that, these this part is set, that's gonna continue to produce. 
let's go ahead and add the blue inserters on the other end. And these blue inserters are gonna be for the, um, for the iron plate. Let's go ahead, upgrade all of these belts. I mean, we don't really need to upgrade them, but just to keep everything uniform. Perfect. All right, so that's gonna be inputting. This stuff needs to go all the way over here with two stack inserters there and then two yellow belts on either end outputting. And then these are going to go all the way back out and then merge here. So let's grab something like so. Perfect. Uh, are they on the same side? Does it matter? It does matter. So this is going to be going on the far side. Uh, we don't want it. We don't want it on this side. We want it on the opposite side. Uh, how do we do that? So when this is outputting, it outputs on the far side. We just need something like this. Let's put it on. Oh, not the far side. We need something like. Whoops, sorry. Put something on the near side like that. So then the near side will go on, let's see, we'll go on this, this near side of the belt over here. And that's what we need. Eventually, um, we're, we're going to be able to, to fix that. I think once we're, once we're finished with everything that we need here, we might have a train that just goes back and forth. I haven't decided if we're going to actually do the train in this episode, have a train, go back and or pick up all the, all the fuel rods and go back and forth and yeah we'll just we'll we'll see we'll see what we need but for now this is this is all that we need okay so we're gonna add a another fuel station or not a fuel station another train station and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clear these trees and what you can do is you can uncheck this with gunner so auto, auto targeting with gunner means that you know you won't auto target with a gunner in the seat and then if you hover over a tree with c you can manually fire and it's almost like a grenade so what we can do is we can hold down c go down all, all along these trees and it's like you just have grenades and you can just clear all the trees very pretty all right uh but we want to Go ahead and recheck that. Okay. So we're gonna have we're gonna have rails, right? I'm gonna turn off my bots real quick because I want to figure out the spacing. We're gonna have rails um with pumps going outbound and then tanks going here. And then we're probably gonna have something along the lines of like another outbound here. Okay, so let's go ahead, cut this. So it looks like, let's just do it. Let's just do it here. Delete that. This is where our rails are gonna be then. Boom, let's uh, activate our bots. Boom, 
There we go. And then rail signal. Awesome. So now that we're also talking about mega base, we also need to plan for the mega base structure, right? So all of our mega base or all of our train stations are going to go off of supply and demand. We're going to wire up our mega base smartly to where we're almost replicating logistics train network, uh, but in vanilla Lo logistics train network. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I can link that in the description down below is a mod where you can request and supply certain items throughout your factory using trains. Um, automatically and it'll send the right amount of trains to each station and it, it it does a fantastic job um there's a, i mean there's a couple little nuances I, I can't really go into full detail now but what we're gonna try to do since we're doing this playthrough as vanilla as possible is we're gonna with like vanilla as possible with no gameplay changing mods we do have some quality of life mods uh, obviously we're gonna try to program our own little logistics train network within within vanilla uh, this is where I'm going to use a little bit more blueprints, but I will, because the, blue, the, the, the blueprints that I made went through a lot of bug testing, um, and they're still not, they're still not perfect, um, but I want to go through them with you and explain them step by step on how I came there. Uh, I just, those are a little tough to build by hand, but long-winded explanation here, we're going to start naming our stations accordingly by how we're going to use logistics train network so all all the resources in factorio we're going to have outposted for example like iron plate smelting copper plate smelting uh green circuits red, red circuits blue circuits they're all going to be outposted right and then all go towards different science module outposts that produces all the science and then all go to a like science research hub essentially but in order for this to work, we need like depots for each of the resources. So the depots are going to act like the hubs as well as the refueling stations for all of the trains. And then the trains are going to go to um, a supply node and then a demand node. So they'll start at the depot, go to a place where there's supply for something and then go to the place where that supply is being consumed. Okay. So for example, in iron ore to iron plate smelting there's going to be depot with iron ore trains waiting for supply and demand they'll go to an iron mine which is going to be the supply station and then to iron plates uh smelting which is going to be the demand station but we have to name them accordingly and all name them the same thing so in this case we we're, we're going to have oil coming here so we're going to start, we're going to name this demand oil so all the oil station or all the stations that are demanding crude oil are going to be named the same thing. Um, all right. So we're going to add two trains here with eight fluid wagons. Seven, eight. Perfect. And then we are going to add output pumps like so. There we go. And then I'm going to copy this and also add uh, power poles and a pipe like so. Now let's go ahead and copy that. Perfect. So now all those pumps are going in here. Now, the thing with oil is if we only have one pump going out one direction, it'll empty from this tank first and then this tank last. So in order to kind of balance out the, the order in which things um, empty out, we need to add a pump here at the last tank as well as a pump at the first tank, right? And then how we're going to balance this out is we're going to basically pump all this stuff over. Um, let's move. Let's remove that. And 
and then we're going to join it and then it's going to output okay so that's going to pump and then that's going to pump now all of this stuff is connected like so perfect okay so now another thing that we need to do is i wire up all of my stations because wires are used to read contents right um and then when, when we go over the the main the depots and all that stuff i'll go over wires and how they work a little bit um better but long story short i'm going to use red wire as the sub um as the demand and then green wire as the supply right green good red bad green provide red take away that type of that type of deal so this station is going to be demanding wire so i'm going to wire all this up all the tanks together to read all the fluid counts that we have i'm going to wire all of that up that's going to read all the wire and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a let's see decider combinator like right here i'm going to hook up this red wire and if oil in the tanks is less than what do we want our buffer to be let's say ten thousand right ten thousand is just an arbitrary number uh each fluid wagon contains 25,000. So if we have eight fluid wagons, that's essentially 200,000 worth of capacity going into the tanks. And each tank is also 25,000. So we have like two trains worth here. We don't need that much fluid, right? So essentially if the tanks get to what is, what's, what's our limit again, 10,000, which is 5% of a train, right? I mean, let's, let's do it to 10%, 10% of a train, 20,000 oil. If we get to t below 10% of a, of a fluid train, we're gonna output one, one crude oil, all right? And the supply and demand kind of uh, circuit network highway and how the factory will speak to each other will be in terms of uh, train loads, right? So. If we're less than 20,000 crude oil in supply, which is 10% of a train, we want to request one train's worth of crude oil, right? Following me? So that we have to output two separate wires real quick. We have to output a red wire that'll go as the demand tour to the rest of the factory. And then we also need a green wire. We need a green wire that's going to our station. And we'll set this station to enable disable when we want enabled when oil is greater than one, right? So if we're if we're requesting one, at least one uh, crude oil train, or if we are demanding at least one crude oil train from this station, the station will turn on, right? If we need one train, this station will turn on. All right. The reason why we are changing, or I'll get to why we're we're using different wires in the future, but for now, just make sure that if we were, if this is a demand station, we use the green wire to hook up to the station, and then the red wire to hook up to the rest of our network. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Uh, and we're gonna need. Let's see here. Where's the rest? I mean, all of our power poles are here. We have, eh. Eh, this is kind of ugly. Let's, let's do something a little sneaky. Something like this. Let's hook up. Let's, oh crap. Oh, <laughs> that scared me. That scared me a lot. There's another one. Thank you. Thank you for giving me a heart attack. Much, much, much appreciated. We're gonna do another, another power pole. Uh, I need to do this one more time. 
Okay. And then we're going to copy these two power poles. Uh, actually, shift and release, delete the rails. And here it is. Here's our measuring stick. And the thing that's great about Factorio is once you, if you're pasting down a blueprint for the copper or for the green and red wire, you don't need to add the wires again. Um, but we will need it. Let's see. We'll need it here. All right, so then this red wire is gonna be going out to our main highway and we see down here, we are requesting, which is why it's highlighted in red because it's a wet red wire. We are demanding or requesting one full oil train to this station, okay? Everyone with me? Awesome. All right, so this oil is gonna go out here now, I have a blueprint for this. Let me try to find it. That's specifically to make the rocket fuel required. Here it is. Now, let me turn off my robots. What is this supposed to be? This is supposed to be water. All right. So where's our water coming from? I can bring water over here. Let's do that. Let's pump over water. Oh, actually. Actually, where's our oil coming from? Oil in this build is coming from here. Let's let's control Z to undo. Uh, let's go to that blueprint again. Where is it? I probably should name it, right? Dang it, I lost it. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. Let's name this. Um, rocket fuel production let's have the logo changed to here like that save blueprint okay rocket fuel production let's rotate this Okay, so the rocket fuel is going to be coming down on that blue blue output here. Where do I want that out output to be? I actually kind of want that output to come like so. Which means I'm probably going to have to transfer something. Let's just do this. We'll see how it looks. Okay, so then this uh, oil is going to be coming down here. There we go. So this oil is going to be coming down here. Where's the water going to be? The water is going to have to come through, come through here. I don't like that pump because pumps actually prioritize, prioritize um, output and I don't want it to prioritize. I just want it to, to split off into half. So what I'm going to do is something like this where I'll have a pump, but it'll be at the very end here just to keep uh, flow going. And then I'll just go all the way down and make sure that we're getting the right amount of water.
Perfect. Now let's pray that I got a water pump. I do. Let's turn on our bots. There we go. We got water coming through here. And that actually... That actually might not be a good spot for it now that I'm thinking about it. Because we're going to have... If we look at this, uh, hold on just a second. I also need to, I also need to mark this. There we go. And this is uh, nuclear fuel production. Mark that as that. There, nuclear fuel. This is a pretty long boy. So it might be tough. Yeah, I think I might have to delete this. Hold on. I'm going to I'm going to respace this out and I'll I'll see you guys I'll see you guys back in just a second. Okay, so I figured out the spacing. So we got our oil coming in here, going in here. Um, oh, actually, I didn't. I didn't figure out the the water though. That's the only thing that I didn't bring in. Uh, but that that's something that can be easily fixed. Um, so we got the oil coming in here. All the rocket fuel is going to be going along this line. And then here are all of our um, what is it? Centrifuges that are going to be making our our um, uh, nuclear fuel, right? And then we have the rocket fuel that's going to go on half the belt here, and then the uranium-235 that's going to be going on the other half, and we're going to take it from these two processes here. All right? So, and then all this uranium fuel is going to go output here, and then... It's going to go on to this uh, uranium train or uranium fuel train and then also a kind of local. You'll, you'll see how we do it. We're, we'll, it'll be a refueling train that'll go to all the depots, right? That'll go to all the depots and load up all the uranium fuel. And then we'll also fuel up a train that will take these ro or these fuel cells over here and take them back and forth actually i mean it's super isolated we don't we don't really need a, a, a train unless yeah we don't really need a train unless we have more than one of these of these power plants okay uh real quick though before we do anything let's make sure that we have our our water situated so, so we're going to be requesting water in two places here in here uh let's let, let let's let the bots go so that they can you know kind of take out the trees and then we'll we'll figure out where exactly we need our water so here's another water pump let's delete these bits here and then delete this bit here There we go, this is building, perfect. All right, so let's figure out where we wanna bring in our water from. Uh, water seems like it probably should come from out here. Let's, let's let go of our deconstruction bots. Or not deconstruction bots, just construction bots in general. Water is going to be coming from over here. Oh boy, wow, this is slow. Okay. Come on, guys. There we go. This is going to be our water.
water is going to be coming from here. There we go. Let's add a pump here just to make sure that it gets everything that it needs. Perfect. And then let's bring this all the way down. And then we'll probably pump it one more time while we still have access to, uh, to power. Like here. Do I have anything that can make landfill? I do. Let's make six. Or something like this. Perfect. Now, that is water made. Uh, okay, so the next thing that we need is we're going to need to request, let's go 150 of the power poles. A bunch more of the centrifuges we're going to need. Let's go ahead, unleash our robots. And we need to get rid of these speed modules while we're here. Let's request 400 of these pipes. Let's request 500 of these pipes. And then what kind of assemblers are these? Uh, these are the regular assemblers. So let's go ahead, request. Uh, let's go 150. And then the chemical plants. How much are we, are we requesting for the chemical plants? Uh, oh, we're gonna need 20 of these refineries. And the chemical plants, let's go with 50. Just, that's a nice roundish number. All right, let's go to our spider bot. No spider bot, I mean spider tron. We're gonna unload all of our speed modules into this copper, copper mine. I'm gonna go pick up some resources and then I'll see you back here and we'll, we'll finish building everything. So I'll be back. All right, so we finished here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through these ratios and I'm gonna add little snapshots of what we need uh, in the in the edit. So you are currently looking at, we need two, uh, our goal for this is gonna be making two nuclear fuel per second, right? And in order to make two nuclear fuel per second, uh, let, let me just go to the, the research or the tab right here real quick. So nuclear fuel needs one rocket fuel and one uranium second. So in order to make two, we're gonna need two of that ingredient. So in order to make two nuclear fuel per second, we're gonna need two rocket fuel per second. So all of this that you're gonna see on the screen is gonna to be to make rocket fuel. Now we're gonna be using um, the Kirk McDonald factorial calculator, which is an amazing tool. I do disclaimer, you don't wanna fully, fully rely on it you want to make sure that you understand what the ratios are before going into it or else you're kind of going into it blind and not really understanding why why the ratios are the way they are right but especially with oil um it can be a little bit tedious to get the exact ratios with all the different decimal places and the the inconsistent amounts of of different products that you're gonna that you're gonna that you're that you are getting excuse me sorry okay so what you're seeing on the screen right now we have two rocket fuel per second that we need to produce that will be consuming 20 solid fuel per second or half of a blue belt. That 20 solid fuel per second is going to be coming in the um, in the form of 80 assemblers. So if we work a little backwards here, the 80 assemblers are all here, right? Those 80 assemblers right there are going to be making the rocket fuel. Uh, going along these middle lines, converging and going into here. And that's that's going to be uh, one one tenth of a blue belt. But the solid fuel is going to take up one uh, one half of a blue belt at twenty per second. Or I think it's almost one half. I don't think it's it's because half of a blue belt is twenty two point five. So it's not quite half. It's almost. Um, and that solid fuel is going to be coming from 27 uh, factories that are going to be making the solid fuel from light oil, or I mean 26.8, but you round up. And then 13.3, or in this case, 14 chemical plants that are going to be making solid fuel from the petroleum. Now, all this oil is going to be made from 
uh, the refineries. It says 12.1 refineries. I went ahead and rounded up to 13. And then um, 3.1, or in this case, four chemical plants of heavy oil to light oil fracking. All right. So what we have here is those 13, ref or sorry, why is it 14? Oh, whoops, I added one extra. My bad, I added one extra. Let's delete the edge there, I'm glad I checked. All right, so that should be 13. Uh, yes, 13 refineries, right? And then that's gonna be, the heavy oil is gonna be um, consumed and brought into light oil and then as I expand the properties of the solid fuel and the rocket fuel, you see that 20 oil is going to be used. 20 of the oil of the light oil that we are consuming or sorry, producing is going to be consumed by the production of the rocket fuel. The remaining light oil is going to be produ or producing the solid fuel. All right. So I just expanded that and then everything is going to be coming down into here. We might get some extras uh, and whatnot, but I got the water coming in all the way from the edge here uh, with one final pump pushing here and then one diversions here. That's good. All right. So then the last thing that needs to be done. Let's see. Let me just connect these two. The last thing that needs to be done on our end is to finish out all of these uh centrifuges just add them in i did take the liberty of combining the belts for the uranium 235 so what it does is essentially splits everything in half i'm not sure if i went over this i might have splits everything in half like so then takes the half that will be used for uh the fuel processing and filters out the uranium 235 puts it all on one side of the belt and then takes half from either end. Um, so that way it splits it evenly from each of these processes. Right now, this is still um, in the works of, you know, producing the Uranium-235. So that'll, that'll end up building up soon. But yeah, from then on, let's go ahead and see if we have any more centrifuges and then we're going to need to start that that production with a little bit of fuel do i have fuel i do have coal i do have coal so let's go ahead and actually do that hopefully that coal lasts a little bit so half half all right so this is going to go from Right now, it'll go from coal, full cargo to demand oil, empty cargo. Go to the oil, please. And once that comes back, you'll see this whole thing in action. And then before we go, I know this video is running very long. Uh, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to do something right quick. Let's, split this into four equal parts like so and then let's bring in some rails do i have any rails oh i don't okay i'm gonna go back get some rails uh and start a line of uh, a production this is where our refuel train is gonna go all right so i'll be right back with that all right, so you see that we have our, our solid fuel here being made. We have our rocket fuel being made going over slowly here. And then we actually do have our first little bits of nuclear fuel, if you see here. Um, they are working. It is going a little slow at first. They do take time to build up. And also we don't have, you know, all the all of the centrifuges as well. So they do take time to build up because their crafting time is a long time. So that's why it, it does take a little bit of time to build up. Okay, so what we wanted to do is we wanted to come in. Uh, let me turn off my bots, which they are. I wanted to have a train 
with an input of six. Same thing with the belt with red inserters and then the blue belts. Whoops, going like so. Okay, so that's our spacing. So let's go ahead and cut this, turn our bots back on. And let's see if we can make something like this work. That can go up, perfect. Oh, actually, you know what? I wanna do something a little different. Let's move these down by two. I want to cut this, repaste it. I want one of these outputs to go down. Or you know, no, 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 no. Let's 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 delete this again. Oh, I know, I know. Instincts that each of these nuclear fuels takes up an entire little bit. Okay. So I'm going to want half of this to go forward, half of this to turn and be split into four parts. Okay. So this first half is going to be the, the head of our station, right? Let's go ahead, delete this. It's fine. I can put them in my trash for now. Um, this first half is going to go here. Actually, no, no, no. It's going to go... Wait, how far do, do they need to be? There we go. So this first half is actually only going to supply um, fuel for this fuel train, right? So this will end up building up you know, a decent amount. Also, let's, let's put this back on the, nope. Whoops. How do I want to do this? There we go. Control click, put it in here. Control click again, put it in here. Awesome. Put that back in. Oh, weird, it only, only grabs one. Okay, so then we actually only need to, to put blue inserters. All right, cool, good to know. Okay, so what these are gonna do, these are gonna go and blue inserters are gonna insert. There we go. And we're going to have something like this along both ends. And this is only going to be a four, a four wagoned train. It's still going to have the two locomotives just because I like running with two. Just because. There we go. We are going to power everything. And then connect it to the power here. There we go. We can delete this, delete that. And then we could add a locomotive with four wagons. Now this locomotive can come this way. Let's have this be its output. So actually, no, no, no. Its output can go here. And that's on what the right side. Yep. 
Yeah, this is gonna be a little, a little backwards, but it's okay. So the output will be going like so. So this is actually gonna be kind of like a left-hand drive type situation. And it's input is gonna be coming this way. So it's a little backwards, but in this situation, it's fine. So it's gonna be coming along the left side here. connect the two there we go all right so we officially have a refueling train that has nuclear nuclear power and we're gonna have this be um, supply fuel oh no we're gonna go depot no 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 supply Supply fuel. Awesome. And then this train is going to go to, um, let's see, supply fuel, full cargo. There we go. And there you have it. Obviously, we're going to we're going to fill out these couple um, these last few centrifuges. How much do we have left? 76 minus that one there, which is 75. So we have 75 centrifuges left to, to add. Uh, but it looks like this full row, this full row is going. We got half of this row, about a third of this row. The ends there are going. So yeah, I mean, this is essentially the start, the, the true start of our mega base. We have our fueling system uh, started. This will end up filling up, filling up this train and then this train is gonna to go to all the depots that we have in the future and supply all the trains that we have there with the nuclear fuel that they need. Um, but that's all. That's gonna be all for me today, folks. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to smash that like button, click the subscribe button as well if you haven't already. And that little notification bell down there at the bottom keeps you up to date with all new content that I provide. Uh, if you have any tips, tricks, suggestions, you wanna critique my playing style or you, want, you would've done this separately or differently, be sure to let me know down in the comments down below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. I do stream every Thursday and Sunday afternoon over at twitch.tv slash bedivere. Be sure to go ahead and follow all the links to all of my socials, including Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram in the description down below. I'll see you guys over there. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.